begin a retouch using the Ron Nichols Studio Retouching Palette. If you look, you can see our palette is actually docked to the side of our screen here. I just mouse over and the palette just appears. We're going to begin our retouch by clicking Create Retouching Layer. Duplicated the background layer and named it Retouching Layer. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to use a Blemish Blaster. Now this is a neat tool that allows us to be able to take and actually create skin texture right in a brush. So here we are, it already built that up for us. All I want to do is just kind of wipe over this area under the eyes here just a little bit. You can see how it took, look at how it just actually took and cleaned that up there. Uh, didn't take everything out of there. I don't want everything to go. I just want to be able to soften it down some. There we go, that's looking good there. Come in here and all we have to do is simply just tap and we can take and we can clean up these areas. So I want to remove any blemishes or anything there. Looks like the forehead, everything looks pretty good. There, great. We got one little spot right there. We're just going to hit it. That blemish blaster tool is just so so fast to be able to to work and clean things up. Next, we're going to go ahead and I want to start working on the eyes. So we're going to use our eye enhancement tool. So first of all, I'm going to remove the second catch light. Let's zoom in here, very very close, and you can see I've got a nice small brush. I'm going to use my alter option key. I'm just going to sample, and I'm going to take that catch light out of there. Let's go ahead and move to our other. And we're going to pull that one out of there. That's actually this, the fill light, so I want to be able to take and get rid of that. Next, we're going to use our boost eye color. What we're going to do is I'm going to hold my controller command key when I click on this one. It's actually got a modifier key attached to it. So what I'm doing is I'm telling it I've got blue eyes here. So all I've got to do is come in here and I've got to paint. I've wiped around there once. I'm going to do it one more. Lift up my brush, do it one more time. Look how I was able to take and bring out that blue in the eyes. We're going to hit it there once, lift up, hit it again. Next, we're going to go through and we're going to define the iris. We define the iris, we are going to define the edge as it outlines the eye. So I'm going to rim right around here and we're just darkening down this edge. So I'm just going to hit it twice there just to darken it down. Looks good. Next, we're going to go in here and I'm going to darken it down there just a little bit. Just one more little swipe there. Good. Just defines that edge for us a little bit. Next, we're going to go ahead and use Enhance Eyelashes. Now, with the Enhance Eyelashes, what it does, it actually gives us a brush that's tapered out. Look how I can run over these eyelashes and put add it on mascara. You can see how she's actually got very nice eyelashes, but look how I can take and I can actually add eyelashes in where I don't have them. So if I want to take and enhance this here, make that a little bit darker there, I want to bring an eyelash out into here. The palette's controlling my brush dynamics. It's actually making the strokes for me um, so that it tapers off at the end of each stroke so it looks just like an eyelash. Next we're going to use the brighten eyes. Now when we brighten the eyes, first thing we're going to do is want to punch up the catch light. This is our main light. Then I'm going to go opposite the catch light and add just a little bit of natural refraction in the eye. Then I'm going to gently punch up the whites of the eyes. I want to be sure I leave that shadow in there. Next we're going to go catch light, refraction, and whites of the eyes. So let's back off and take a look at what we've done here. I'm turn my retouching layer on and off and you can see the difference in those eyes. Look how much prettier we've actually made those eyes. So they just really zing. Next thing we're going to do is we want to go in and we're going to use the punch painter and where we're going to use the punch painter here is we're going to go in and I've got these bright colors in the background. I'm just going to wipe with Look how I can just kind of saturate those colors just to be able to bring them up just a little bit brighter back there. That looks great. Now we're going to move down, and in this case what we're going to do is I'm going to add some a high fashion glow. So with this high fashion glow, we're going to double click, and it's going to give us a preview box. You can see where it's actually making a selection there on our image. Here's our preview. If we want to zoom up a little bit tighter on the face, I click my zoom up button, and we've got our skin glow. I can make the adjustment there. I want to leave the glow about where it is, but I want to soften it down. So I'm doing this glow softening and what this is is we're enhancing the highlights. We're exaggerating the lighting effect a little bit and giving us nice softness here in these highlights. We're punching up the highlights and softening them out. So we're adjusting that. Every time you see that little clock up here that means my screen or my image is actually updating. This is color punch. We're just going to give it just a little more zing in the color. That looks good there. I'm going to click OK and it's going to go ahead and it's going to process our image. You're going to be amazed at what this high fashion glow, what a beautiful job it does. Look what have we done right there. Isn't that great? 
Good. Next we're going to go in. I want to do a little bit of selective light and darken. I just want to be able to just darken this down just a little bit more. Just exaggerate these cheekbones just a little bit. Can go up here to the top here just a little bit. And we can darken that down. If I want to knock this down just a little bit, we can darken that down just a bit. Let's go in here. I want to go back and let's add a little bit of camera diffusion. And you're going to see it's going to create a beautiful soft effect. Now that's a little bit too heavy, but all I have to do is adjust my opacity to be able to take it down. There we're going to do is I'm just going to wipe back over the eyes. You can see how it brings the sharpness back in the eyes. I wipe across the tip of the nose and we're just going to wipe across the mouth. So there's our diffusion. There it is without our diffusion. You can see how we just got that wonderful diffusion there. If I want to embed this into my retouching layer, I hold my control or command key and I double click camera diffusion and it embeds that in to the retouching layer. At this time we're pretty much done with our image. We'll do just a little bit of fine tuning on here. I'm going to go into curves, but we're going to use curves without ever really using curves. So we'll go in here first. I want to be able to darken the highlights just a little bit. I'm going to take it down a notch. That looks good there. Now I'm going to go back and just put a little bit of a contrast bump on there. That looks great. So at this point, let's go back and we can look at our image. We can see our original image that we started out with. And there's our retouched image. Now if you notice we went through this whole process you can see it was a total of six minutes and 19 seconds very extensive retouching uh, but yet uh, we never once had to select a tool in Photoshop. The palette manages all our layers, blending modes, opacities, everything to make our retouching very easy and get phenomenal results even for a novice user.